what is going on guys welcome back to another video we got a new project i want to say it is a honda cb750a the a stand for automatic let me take you around it we'll uh take a look and we'll see if we can get it to fire today so basically this is a will it run video so we'll see if we can get it to fire let's get into it it is basically a complete bike it's not missing anything as far as I know yesterday I was washing it so I took the seat the tank the side covers off so that I could actually get to the frame the engine and everything because I wanted to have an idea of the condition of the bike so I took everything out but everything is there got about 20,000 mile on it now I don't know exactly what the plans is for this bike but I do know I don't want to do anything custom with it I would most likely like to restore it completely but I do plan on getting rid of the fairings, saddlebags, and that big trunk there. All right, let's see if we can get it running. Aha! I win. Get back to that. So far, trying to see inside the carbs. They don't look that bad, but I do know down here there's gonna be a mess. So let's pull the carbs out the rest of the way and uh, and inspect them. Cause I know they're gonna be bad. I could just spray some uh, starter fluid in there and, and and try to start it like that, but I already know the carbs are bad, so. I'm just going to pull them out and uh, clean them and then put them back in and try to run the bike. And it's out. Now the throttle cable. You know, I'm gonna pull it out and then unhook the cables out. Let's get rid of those drain tubes. Let's trace this and um, bring them back. All 
right, and now we can pop the carbs out. There you go. Carb is completely free. Let's take it to the bench. I'm curious to see what the inside look like down there. Because the slides look good, so I'm not too worried about them. I will make sure, of course, they go up and down freely. But I'm more curious to see what in here looks like. All right, let's start with you. I can only smell some bad gas. I feel like it's not as bad as I thought, but. The float is the float is stuck standing up. Let's get the rest of the balls out. I don't know what this black gooey thing is. No. Like that it's not too hard. But apparently that's what gas turns into after what 30 years of sitting down or something. Alright, maybe I'm gonna invite my friend to read D40 to come play with them. It looks like I might as well just get a rebuilt kit and uh, and rebuild everything because uh, things are looking pretty gross, especially those uh, mixer screws. The holes in there are looking really bad. Looks like the cobs are in pretty terrible shape, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and order a rebuilt kit and a few other things that I'm gonna need for the bike. So. I'll uh, resume this video once I get those parts in and I can put everything together and get the bike started. All right, let's get these carbs clean. I'm not separating them yet because I just want to get everything cleaned up and get the bike fired up. But I'll do a full cleanup, probably rebuild where I separate the carbs and replace all the roarings in between. But for right now, we're just gonna clean them. <laughs> Say hello to my uh, DIY vapor blaster. This is just a little sand blaster thing from Harbor Freight, and I'm using some baking soda, and I put water in it. So I got a solution that's about maybe 25% baking soda, and uh, and then the rest is water. And I'm gonna be shaking it as I go, and then use that to clean the carbs. Let's see how well that works. It is messy for sure. Alright, I think I've got the carbs clean enough and I've already gotten the extra screws on there and make sure they're all about two turns out. So let's go ahead and get the rest of the stuff put in so we can uh, so we're basically missing the ninjets the 
floats, needles, floats, and then we're good to go. This little wood has to sit right in between here. Let's see. Let's see if I can close up on it. So right in between here. So the best way to put it in is to I guess stick it in. Try to hold it in place and try to get the little arm so come on you can do it there you go there you go i got through and then from here let's just like the rest of them I've been inspecting the gaskets on those, and so far I've only changed one of them. And I've already checked the slides, they're all going up at the same time, and the same rate. So it's totally bench synced. So I don't need to do anything with that. So right now, let's get the carbs on the bike. Let's see if we can fire it up. Okay, we got the carbs back on the bike. Let's get something to put some fuel in. That should work. All the fuel that I put in here are gone, and I totally thought this thing was off. Uh, but no leaks. Yeah, looking at the carbs and not seeing any gas dripping anywhere. Let's uh, see if we can fire it up. I heard a click and then nothing. I think the thing is dead. All right, we gotta wait for it to charge now. I guess I can run to Iron Pony and grab a battery. They're probably close by now. Anyways, let's let it charge. All right, it, it's only been charging for about five minutes, but I'm so anxious to uh, fire it up. I'm gonna try to see if I have enough power to turn it over. Let's try pulling on the choke. And yep, those close. It starts. 
I don't like how it sounds though. Joke's on. <laughs> There's a noise coming from the top converter side. I've never messed with one of these bags before, but I don't think it sounds normal. It looks like uh, float number four is sticking open because I just found out the overflow uh, tube was just gushing everywhere. So it seems to be idling fine, and the noise that was coming from the top converter is gone. Uh, at least I think it's gone. So I think I'm gonna stop it now. So it's a success, it's, it's, it's running. I didn't even joke, but I like how it's running. Of course, it dies once I pick the choke out which is a little bit expected all right so that is a success we can call this it runs let's just say that it runs and that's gonna be it for the video guys obviously we wanted to see if it runs it runs so that is a plus that's what i was looking for so next uh next video i think i'm just gonna start cleaning everything um polishing things and do a full service so i definitely want to change the box to box load especially because right now i think uh, similar to number four is not firing because i can push the exhaust right now but the other ones i can't i would burn myself because they're really hot so i want to check uh, fluid of course change all the spark plugs uh, figure out what's going on with number four and clean the gas tank to inside the gas tank is not fun that fun at all. It smells so bad. So uh, once I get all this, I'll be putting the bike together. And yeah. So thanks for checking out the video. If you like it, like it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.